If your Halloween Village platform looks like this, or your war game platform looks like that, this is not the video for you. This is the easy platform video for folks who have never done platforms before and want to learn the basics. I'm sharing a platform with you that looks a little bit like dirt. It makes a great foundation for a pumpkin patch and displays the Black Cat Diner. This channel is all about easy Halloween personalizations for your village and the goal was to do something simple. I wanted it to appear to be covered in dirt, but stable enough to display your smaller miniatures. After all, too much texture could make it difficult for them to stand up. Future videos in this series will show you how to customize this to gradually make this platform more and more complex. The first step, however, is to start with the basics. We need a great foundation. The supplies include pink foam from the hardware store and a couple of cans of paint. This video shows two, a multicolored textured paint and over top, a brown paint. Step one, paint your platform. To be successful, you'll want to know some secrets and I'll tell you those now. First, unless you want nice neat lines, do not do what I just did. This is for demonstration purposes. As you can see, that first line of paint starts to really eat into the platform. That's the magic of this particular video. This technique leverages the reaction of the pink foam and the spray paint to give us texture, to give us interest. Once this dries, it becomes very, very hard. So it's a really nice way to have a long lasting platform that won't shed pieces of dirt or sand all over your storage area or your Halloween Village pieces. If you're not looking for nice neat lines, we're going to use a totally different technique. Short bursts of paint in quick succession. Now I'm showing you a little bit of it here. I'm using a circular motion. That works really great. Keep in mind that as you're doing this project, start with less. You can always add more and build more and more texture. Speaking of texture, if that's what you're going for, you might consider starting with a less expensive paint. I found a cheap $1 can of spray paint at my local big box store, and that reacted really well with some of my foam. You could also try a textured paint. That's what you're seeing here. Look at how big some of those bubbles are. It was really amazing. And already being textured, added a lot to the platform very, very quickly. So to recap, I'm recommending for those of you who want a high texture platform to start with an inexpensive paint and then layer on top of that a textured paint. Now, I didn't like the gray. I thought it didn't really look like dirt. So I went over it with a dark brown later. And that's how I got all of this texture on the platform. This platform can become a phenomenal base for more complex crafts. For example, this would be good for a corn maze or a farm display that has a pumpkin patch, maybe a forest. As you can see, I've got the greenhouse and so I've layered on some moss and other mats, as well as trees, little display pieces like the pumpkin patch and the black cat diner. I really love how this particular platform shows off those pumpkins. That is a craft that is on this channel. You can go check that video out. The pumpkin patch sign is another craft that we did. In the back are those lovely black trees. That was a recent project, as well as the man-eating plants. This channel is all about personalizing your Halloween village or war game platform. I'd love to hear your suggestions for crafts and dupes, so please make comments in the comment section. Connect with me on social media, and I can't wait to see you again soon.